Course 3, Lesson 67, we are looking at range, and in this we're going to have a couple of tools that we can use to decide our percent increase or decrease, uh, one of them being a three-row ratio table and the other a formula. So an example of something you might see to find percent of increase is this type of question. The U.S. track team won 12 gold medals four years ago. This year, uh, we predict they're going to win about 21 gold medals. What would be the percent increase in gold medals from last year to this year? So our formula that we are going to use to, uh, to figure this out is to find percent change, that equals the actual change, okay, how much we increased or how much de we decreased, divided by the original amount and then multiplied by 100. So, looking back at our question, we would say the change, well, we went from 12 to 21, so the change would be 9. We increased by 9 gold medals. The original amount is 12, and then we'll multiply by 100. So, when we put this in decimal, 0 0.75 times 100, that would mean that we have 75% increase. All right, so we can use this formula in order to do it. Our other way is a three row ratio table where we could say we have three rows, one of them being the original, okay? And we're always gonna put 100% for the original, okay? We always start there and then we say we can either increase or decrease, in this case we're increasing, we're increasing by a certain amount. We don't know what that amount is to get to our new, which we also don't know, but that's okay. We'll figure it out by figuring out the percent increase. Our original amount is 12. We increase by nine to get to our new of 21. So we can set up a proportion in this case to figure out, okay, well, 100 divided by X is equal to 12 divided by nine. When we do that, we do find that this is 75. So our new is actually 175% of the original, okay? Because we have our total 100% and then we're adding to that 75%. So let's try this. Um, I'll use the formula for this one. The original price of the shoes were $80. The store marked them up to 130. So what's the percent increase? Well, they marked them up to 130, meaning they added $50. So that would be my change. The original amount is 80, and then we will multiply by 100. So 5 eighths as a decimal is 0 0.625. We multiply by 100 to get it as a percent, and we find that it's 62.5%. That would be our percent increase. Now we have two ways to talk about my percent change. One of them being, we can talk about it as an increase or a decrease. In this case, we increase by 62.5%. The other way is to talk about how much do I have of the original. In that case, we're saying I already have my 100% and I'm adding my 62.5%. So in total, I have 162.5% of the original. So there's a couple ways to talk about these. All right, uh, I'll do a three row ratio table for this one. Original is 10, now it's 12. So once again, we don't know a lot about the percentages. So original, we're going to increase, okay, and now we have my new, which means my original is 100%, and we know my original is 10, maybe $10, 10 donuts, 10 gummy bears, 10, I don't know, whatever you want. And now we have 12, so we had an increase of two. Well, if I want the percent increase, that means I want to find that increase, so I have 100 over X is equal to 10 over two. Well, this one, I don't have to cross multiply. I could actually see a scale factor here. Um, or really, it doesn't matter how we do it. We can get 10 X is equal to 200. So X is equal to 20. So we see that we are increasing 
by 20% for a 120% of the original. So we can say this is a 20% increase, or we can say we have 120% of the original. It's important to put those uh, distinctions afterwards to say, is this my increase amount or is it how much I have of the original? Because we could have something that increases by 120%, so just be careful of how you're writing them. Another one, I'll use the formula. My original was 125 and now it's 25, which means my change is 100. Now you could say minus 100, but we often don't talk about negative percents. We will just end this by saying it's a decrease. But anyways, I have 100 over my original 125, which re and then we'll mu multiply by 100. 100 over 125 reduces to 4 over 5 times 100, so that's really 0.8 times 100, or 80%. Meaning that we have an 80% decrease, but when we're talking about decreases, we are talking about taking my original 100% and minusing 80. So we have 20% of the original. Whereas on the other one, we were saying I have a 20% increase, and I'm gonna, I have my original 100% that I'm gonna add, so I have 120% of the original. Okay, that's the difference between increase and decrease. Increase we're putting on top of 100%, decrease we're taking away from 100%. All right, Donna bought a dress at 30% off sale for, at a 30% off sale for $42. What's the original price of the dress? We're gonna use a three row ratio table for this one. And we say, okay, 100%, I don't know what the actual amount was, that's what I wanna find. But there was a 30% discount And so my new, well, that's 70%, okay? I only had to pay 70% of that original price. So I can set up a proportion and say, well, 100 over 70 is equal to x over 42. And I can simplify a little bit and cross multiply. So I have 7x is equal to 420, so x is equal to 60 meaning that my actual price was $60, so I must have saved $18. Okay, let's keep just doing a few more uh, problems here. The median house pro price rose 20% in one year, meaning we're gonna be talking about a percent increase. By how many dollars did the median price uh, increase? So, we know that we rose 20%. Okay, our original is always 100, meaning our new is going to be 120% of the original. So that 120% talks about my $288,000. That is after that increase. But I want to know how much was the increase? What is that 20% that we added on top? So we can uh, do a proportion, do 20 over 120 is equal to x over 288,000. I'm gonna simplify a bunch here. And so we can cross multiply and say 6x is equal to 288,000. Divide by six and we see that x is equal to 48,000. That 20% that we increased that year is $48,000. Meaning our original price was 240,000. Okay, a couple more. A shopkeeper buys an item for $25 and marks it up by 80%. What is the store price? Lots of ways to do this one. How I would go about this one is saying, well, I, my original price is $25 and I'm increasing it by 80. Or I can say my original 25 and my new price is 180% of the original because I increased it by 80%, which means I can take 25 and multiply it by 1.8. When I do that, I find that my new price is $45. Our increase, 80%, is $20 that we added on top. 
And an item with a regular price of $15 is discounted 30%. What's the sales price? Well, if we discounted 30%, I only have to pay 70% of this $15. So I'm going to pay 15 times my 70%. So I do 15 times 0.7 is equal to... divided by 2 is 50, and 60 divided by 2 